happy Friday. It's been a while and I really wanted to, I was so looking forward to showing this video. I went thrifting just to add into my wardrobe in general, but also for fashion week as well. Cause I always think it's nice to just mix and match in yeah, luxury and high street. I've said this in other videos. It's just to add in something different and you add it in with mixing it with everything else you've got. Oh, I love stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just kick off. This is a whole episode on vintage shopping. I'm going to take you vintage shopping with me. I'm going to go to about two or three ish. I think it's about three places that I found some stuff. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna show you what those are and come back and do a try on. Anyway, I'm gonna do that whole shebang. If you like stuff like vintage mixed with luxury, mixed with just like, I'm just a magpie shopper of shopping in all different places. And if that's your jam, if that's what you like to do as well, then feel free to subscribe and to join. And also I'm on TikTok doing more of the same. So I'm going to kick off first off with Thread Up. I know you know, I know you know. I partnered and worked with Thread Up. Thank you, Thread Up, for sponsoring this part of the video. They are your access online to thrifted pieces because I'm going to show you later on pieces that I found whilst I'm out in New York. But those are pieces that great if you live in New York. But what if you don't? right? What if you want to go thrifting? Where, where do you go? Where do you go to scratch that itch? Where, where, where? Thread Up honestly is to me is the probably the ultimate number one spot. They have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of brands you know, recognized brands, Reformation, Levi's, Madewell, J. Crew, Topshop, you name it, and other stories. You can just go down the list. The designers as well, they have that. So they've got everything and it's all one-stop shop and they organize it really well so you can go by sizing. So if you're whatever size you are, you search through that, right? It's like walking into a thrift shop. You open the door and you just see a sea of clothes, all different colors, all different sizes, all different styles. And you're like, where do I look first? Thread up is perfect for that. You can search by your size, you can search by color, you can search by category, I'm just looking for dresses. Personally, I use Thread Up because I have a specific idea of what I'm looking for and without having to go to shops and do the whole crossing your fingers and see if you find something that's in your size, in the color that you're looking for. So you are very welcome. And I will have a code for you as always so you can shop and get a discount. But I am going to go through now the pieces that I, another reason I like shopping on Thread Up is just because it's just saving you money. That's just the long and short of it really because it's thrifting, isn't it? You're saving the planet at the same time. It's like one man's trash is another man's treasure. That's the buzz that I've always got out of it and I still do to this day. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I picked up from Thread Up and then afterwards we're gonna go shopping in New York. First up, Topshop skirt. How good is this? I wanted to pick pieces that I'm going to wear into the next season, obviously. I thought it was such a gorgeous piece to get. And I got it for the thread up price of $16.48. It's like autumn in a skirt. You could do it like that. So the back is, it's actually navy. So the back is navy and the front is like this. Oh, it's gorgeous. It looks so rich, right? For the price. Wait till you see the price of this dress. The brand of it is called Love in Casual and it's literally just a long shirt dress. Buttons all the way from the top, all the way down. You can wear it completely open, like or you can do it just like I've done. I've just worn it just slightly partially opened over a pair of jeans. Love wearing like long, long pieces like this. Oh my God, I just discovered it's got pockets. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that, I did not know. Look. <laughs> Why do pockets mean so much? I just don't know, but they just do. Comment below, why do pockets mean so much? Whoever gives me the best answer, I wanna pin that. And I got it for the whopping thread up price of $10.50. It doesn't get any easier. It doesn't get any less than that. And it probably does, but you know, you wanna get what you pay for, but bloody hell, this is absolutely brilliant. There's actually a button here. So if I want, I could wear it like this and then just, you know, do the fastening there. Have it just worn over a pair of jeans. Again, I'm gonna show you the cutaways, how I styled it, but I think it's such an easy piece and it feels so loose and nice and long. I just imagine like wearing a pair of like flat sandals. It's a good transitional piece, isn't it? With a fedora. Oh God, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. I just wanna show you. My fedora, we're doing renovations and my fedora got slightly crushed. So look. Hold on, I'm supposed to be doing this up. <laughs> this combination, cause it's got black stripes in it. So you wear this and I've got like my, sh my jeans. So cool! This is so good! 
But yeah, this is badass. It feels very rock chick as well, actually. But like casual, cool rock chick, like there's any other kind. I love this, I'm so pleased. And it feels like nothing. It's the kind of piece you could like easily pack. Lightweight, so you can just roll it up to nothing in your suitcase. Check out this jacket I got. And I just love the color of it. And it's boxy, which is exactly what I like. Oh my God, my flies are under. The brand is called Doncaster and I love the colours of it. It's just a nice boxy car, cute little pocket, almost like bomber jacket style. I got this for the thrill up price of $101.99. I just thought it was just a fantastic piece. I mean, great colour combinations. This is like perfect autumnal palette. Oh, and by the way, the discount code that I have for you, if you are a first time customer, you will get 30% off plus free shipping using my code Karen. It is on the screen right here. I will leave a link for you also in the description box to go to town. Let me know what you get. I'm always nosy. I always want to know what, what do you guys pick up with my code. Anyway, that is it. I'm going to show you the next piece. Hold on. So I got this really special skirt and it is by David's Bridal of all places. So it just, I like the idea of shopping somewhere that you would never think of and making it your own. Stunning, burgundy, jewel toned, and I got it for the thread up price of $34.99. There's nothing that says bridal in it costs $34.99. This is why I like thread up, is because you find unusual things like this. Like if you were going to like a winter wedding, I would so wear this. Um, I actually like the idea of dumbing it down as well, like a cropped blazer. This is probably one of the most special pieces that I've got from Thread Up. This and that Poochie-esque looking dress from Thread Up as well, which was like a few months ago, was that last year? Leave a comment below if you know the dress I'm talking about. So I got this sweater and it is by Rag and & Bone. I thought the colors on this was perfect. It's super warm. It feels almost like cashmere. It'll stay with me like later on into like November, December. I got it for the thread up price of $70.99. Literally getting changed in front of you. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm just doing this, but so what? You've been following me long enough, you know me. Just like cause the sleeves are nice and long. And you know how it is, I've got long arms. And look where the sleeves stop on me. It's got a nice deep V and this laid over like baggy wide leg trousers, wide leg jeans. I think it's gonna look really cool as well. It's so good when you're able to find deals and you don't have to leave the living room. <laughs> Remember that Reformation dress? The star print one, I got that also from Thread Up, and I wore that when I went to, I think it was Mexico. Yeah, I wore that dress. It's stunning. I just thought, oh, well, it's the one that got away, and then it ended up being on Thread Up for a fraction of the price. So don't you love when that happens? I think that's great. I got in a coach leather shoulder bag. Here we go. This design, to me, like I said, is so in at the moment. It's perfect autumnal color so i got this for the thread up price of 114 dollars and 99 cents and the zip at the back and just the stitching details as well it just has very kind of you know designer kind of look to it but i love browns and blues together which is why i like this combination together i just think it just works i just wear like boots like tall boots over the knee boots or even just knee high boots those are the pieces that i picked up i'll leave the details in the description box as well i'm going to take you thrifting with me as i promised in new york Let's go. I'm taking you to No Relation and we are going to see what is there. I haven't been there in a while, so I'm curious to see what kind of stuff they have. There's always something in there that I want, always. I hardly ever leave empty handed. I want to do a little bit of DIY, a couple of things, so I just want to make sure they actually have it, so we'll see. Okay, oh, and by the way, dress-wise, I'm wearing, this dress is by Victor Glamode, a black home designer. This is a vintage shawl, which is part of a dress that horribly, horribly shrunk in the wash. And it was my favorite vintage dress. I hardly ever wore it. So this is all I have left of it, which is this matching shawl that it came with. But the dress was like this, and it was flawless. Exactly like this, what I'm wearing, actually just in this material and my Dior saddle and the strap with it so let's go in
this looks when I take it home. I did not try anything on because honestly, I don't have the time. I wouldn't be bothered either. I'd like to just try things on. I just eyeball sizes, honestly, when I'm in thrift shops because I've been doing it for such a long time now that I have a rough idea of what fits me. And I like things on the oversized look. So as long as I feel like it's going to do that, I'm okay. Because you can always tailor something to make it smaller, but you can't do the reverse unless you literally would lose weight and die into it. <laughs> anyway, let me get in the car, get going, and um, I'll show you what I got. Guess where we are? We're in Brooklyn. There's a vintage shop I'm going to go check out. And I figured you must come with me. And the thing is, it's pissing down with rain right now. But who cares? We're still going to go. Oh my God, it's really coming down right now. I'm going to shelter under this tree. I don't know how lucky I'm going to get, but I'm actually going. Oh, I can see it from here. Oh, oh Do you hear that? Okay, I'm going to flip this around so you can see where I'm going. Where we are going. There the street. I could run over, run across now. I don't know. I might make a run for it. We'll see. It's just it's raining quite a lot. So I'll give it a minute. But that is one done. I'm stuck under the tree in the rain. It's absolutely pissing down. Look. And I'm getting soaked. Oh my god. What do I do? Do I stay under this tree or do I make a run for it? I'm getting soaked. I got completely soaked. I've left my bag which got completely soaked by the way, so I'll let you know how that bag gets on. It's all leather, so hopefully it should be okay. But I'm here now, so I'm just walking with my wallet. Oh my God, hold on, let me show you like the, the window. It's like a men's shirt. Oh my God, there's boots up there. <gasps> Crocs jacket. Oh, like a bargain rail outside, crochet. Right, we're going in, we're going in.
these white ones. It's like the parachute material that I got for my pants. <laughs> thing when I went into no relation you probably saw in the footage was I wanted to look at camo pants and so that's why I picked these up and I really like them they're from the men's section I think I've mentioned a few videos ago that I've been really into camo and I, I know I've really just been enjoying wearing actually I think I mentioned it last week's videos and I really I don't know I just something about the print that I'm really drawn to and it's just adding something to my wardrobe that I felt wasn't there before so I love the fit of these um, I actually showed you these in last week's video uh, footage so this footage of me actually going to get these was shot before last Friday's video so you already had a sneak peek of these but for this video um, timing wise I'm showing you them again um, so yeah so these cargoes I thought they were great I like the side pockets of them good just wear like all my ankle boots and stuff I also got this cargo jacket I'm thinking about cutting it this kind of vibe right so nice and cropped like something like that so i'm probably going to diy so watch this space i'll keep the arms nice and long probably going to show on tiktok first before i get a chance to post it on um, youtube because youtube only posts once a week tiktok i post every day but yeah so that's this speaking of can't be asked i got these two t-shirts which i'm not going to put on i'm just going to rest them against my body so you can see them but that was from the second place that i went to in brooklyn the graphics of it the color of it be good just to wear like peeking out under like blazers coats and then i got this one as well again it's a graphic tee yeah so i like this one as well oh my god these gorgeous scarves hold on wait till you see these scarves these sorry about the noise outside but how good are these scarves that i picked up the colors of them oh i think it's so 70s that orange and browns and yellows same with this one but in purple again it's that the browns the reds the purples just really really beautiful color combinations so, uh, i picked up these pants and they're like a kind of uh, military pant because they were in the military section but it's not camo and I have these really large flat front pockets and they also have pockets here I need to flatten this iron this bit out look at that talk about giving you a nice booty it's like the perfect cut and the placement of the pockets too 
it's just so nice really flattering and that's just like a guessing on my size and for that i definitely had to go into the changing rooms to try these on then this western shirt which i think is absolutely gorgeous i love western shirts i always have i just think they're so cool so this one just want to quickly show you really easy um looking forward to styling this this is so karen this okay um oh probably one of the best things i found hold on definitely my favorite find of all um farm going out in new york was this jacket it is bright orange i have been looking for a bomber jacket for a minute now uh, it's it's warm but that's perfect going into the next season i wanted something that was just this color i wanted this orange it was great and it also has the the writing on the back love this really really happy i found this oh, such a good piece to wear later on and then last but not least is this vest again perfect for next season i love the cut of it and the color of it the way it just like extends past the shoulder i think very kind of like isabel morant vibe and that classic cable knit on it and i'm just wearing with a black denim skirt but so good right I'm so glad i got it so yeah so those are all the thrifted pieces that i've picked up both from thread up online and also from going around new york for a little bit i hope you enjoyed coming with me thumbs up if you enjoyed that trip and just taking you around and to see what's there always incorporating something uh, that's going to be vintage or thrifted in my wardrobe do, do not forget to get 30 percent off your first order with thread up plus free shipping using my code karen it's on the screen again i'll leave the link in the description box below i'll see you on tiktok till then Bye.